Oh, I feel good. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, those two weeks off, the bye week and the Kent State week, uh, were pretty crucial and uh, allowed me to get back a lot healthier than I've been. So it was good. Is Maryland a bigger challenge than the last two? Uh, I mean, it's it's Big Ten. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Big Ten football. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit bigger than you know what we've seen so far, and uh, so we need to go in there, you know, with the right mindset. And uh, we've had two two good days of practice on Tuesday and Wednesday, and you know, finish it off tomorrow. It's going to be it's going to be here quick. Uh, noon game, we're traveling early on uh, Friday, yep. so uh, it'll be here quick. So, does this feel like a Big Ten game though, or, or, or a little more like a non-conference? You guys have never played before. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't think no one really has been to Maryland uh, on the staff, or I don't think, or uh, any you know, any of the trainers or anything. They've, they've usually been, been everywhere. Weeks. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, we actually are we're flying right back into Baltimore, uh, but yeah, actually at the university. Uh, so it'll be yeah, it'll be a little different. Uh, you know, they're they're saying it's, you know the biggest game in Mar one of the biggest games in Maryland history. Uh, so you know whatever that means. So. There have been games when Ohio State's thrown to the tight end a lot since you've been here, like Purdue last year. You had a huge game, but there's been it's rare it's been two games in a row. <clears throat> but now it's been two games in a row. I know you didn't play against Kent State, but you guys have thrown to the tight end a lot two straight games. You think that's going? I know you hope it's a trend. You think that'll be a trend, or what? Do you guys talk much about that? Did we? Hey, we have to get the ball to the tight end a little bit more. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, we have a ton of playmakers on offense, and uh, so you know, the ball gets spread around, you know, a lot. And uh, you know, some games it comes to us a lot, and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, it's just kind of week in and week out. Uh, you know, Virginia Tech, you know, was a little different. Those first few weeks were kind of different, you know, based on the, you know, the defenses that we faced. But, uh, you know, yeah, obviously, you know, in my situation, I do hope, that, you know, the tight end gets the ball. It's part of that JT, the distributor, just doing a good job going through his checks and finding the open guy. Yeah. Uh, you know, JT's, a, you know, he's a you know great quarterback and, you know, he's really good at, you know, going through his checks and, uh, you know, first, first option, second option, third option. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of, we had a, last week, you know, there's a few balls where we caught where, you know, either Nick, you know, Nick or myself, you know, we were the second or third option. And uh, he was, you know, checking it down and getting us getting it to us. So, uh, you know, he does a good job of that. Has he surprised you the way he's, his poise, et cetera? You were nah. the first four games. I mean, you, nah. were, you were his advocate from the get -go. Right. Uh, I mean, I, I knew he was going to be. Uh, you know, that's just how he is. He's a great leader. Uh, you know, he, like yeah, like you said, he's super poised. And, uh, you know, it doesn't surprise me how he handles his business. Uh, so, no, it, it doesn't surprise me. Jeff, as you guys hit Big Ten season, how, how comfortable are you with where you are as a team? Just kind of uh, we're really comfortable. Uh, you know, I think last week was a big week for us. You know, we needed that. And, uh, you know, we needed a, a big game and a big performance. And I think that's what we got. And, uh, you know, there was, a, there was a few, obviously a few plays, I think, on defense that, you know, we wanted to have back and a few on offense. Also, but for the most part, we played a you know a complete game on Saturday, and we we really needed that you know going into this uh, you know Big Ten season and you know the second half of the year. So, Cincinnati and Maryland seem to be fairly similar. Are, I mean, you've actually watched tape of them. How similar are they? Mm. I mean, are you talking defensively? Yeah, I mean, obviously you don't study them. Often. Right, I don't say right. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're they're similar. Uh, you know, it's like, you know, Cincinnati, Maryland, they both got athletes. And, uh, you know, those are, you know, regardless of, you know, what defense they play or what offense they play, you know, they're going to have offense or they're going to have players that can make plays. Uh, and, you know, they got some players on special teams that can make plays. So, uh, you know, special teams is going to be a big part of this game. And, uh, you know, who wins the kicking game? And, uh, you know, we've been spending a lot of time on that this week. So uh, we'll see how it works out. How much more time than usual have you spent on special teams this week? Uh, Just a little or has it been... Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just, there's a lot, you know, a lot more attention to detail. Uh, you know, we're doing some things a little bit differently. Uh, I wouldn't say it's been a dramatic amount, but, uh, you know, we've obviously, we've, you know, we know that's going to be a big part to this, to this week. And, uh, so, you know, going into their house and, you know, playing on the road, you know, special teams is always important. Uh, you know, it's, you know, it can be a real key to victory for a road team. So when you say you're doing things a little differently, the normal adjustments, or are you talking this is something special because Maryland, they are pretty special with their special teams. Yeah, they're they're good on special teams, so we're just uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna come after them. Uh, you know I can't you know give you all the secrets, but uh, you know we're coming after them, and uh, you know we've been spending you know we got a great coaching staff that you know they're gonna put us in the best best possible situation uh, for us to succeed, and uh, so we've been working on that this week. So whenever you have a road game, being Ohio State, you always have kind of a target on your back. The fact that this is the first time you're going to go there as a, their Big Ten opener, how much do you really want to make a statement to them and, and really to the league? To them also? 
Right. I mean, we're going to go there and we're going to, you know, welcome to the welcome them to the Big Ten. Uh, you know, I think we're going on the road. And, you know, it's going to be a big it's going to be a big game. And, uh, you know, we're going to show them what Big Ten football is. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll work out in our favor. So. That like sounds that? nice when you say welcome them to the Big Ten. That sounds like we're going to welcome them <laughs> right, to the Big Ten. We'll welcome them. We'll, we'll sh- yeah, we'll, <laughs> 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 we'll, show, we'll show you what's up. So, uh, but, 700 yeah. yards of offense, 50 points. Is that what this offense, I mean, is that – capable I making mean, do more than that yeah i mean like i said I mean, even you know there was a we left a few we left points out there and yards out there on uh you know last weekend uh you know i think we had a we had a drop third down that uh should have been completed we had uh that fumble in the you know that we should have kept rolling with that i think we had one punt and uh you know even down in that we i think we could kick two or three field goals I mean, those are all points and yards that we, you know, left out there. And, uh, you know, like, like we could have definitely played better and definitely capitalized a little bit more on uh, Saturday offensively. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's 800 yards. I don't know. You know, but, uh, you know, there was definitely yards left out there. And, uh, yeah, we are capable of that. Uh, you know, we got athletes all over the field. We got, you know, playmakers all over the field. And, uh, you know, when we put it together like we did on Saturday, it, it, it's special. So. Did, did Coach Meyer mention 800 did he say that to you guys? You guys could have gotten that. Why did someone else say that? Daryl Baldwin mentioned eight, <laughs> on, which I was just like, man, like that is a high bar. If someone's actually saying, no, you could have had eight hundred. I mean, yeah. I mean, we. I mean, if you when you look at it and you watch a game, you know, there could have, we could have easily hit eight hundred if you know we would have finished on you know some of those drives and, uh, you know, like I said, you know that third down, that fumble, and you know that punt. Uh, you know, you put you add all those up. Take away some of those field goals and replace them with touchdowns. You're you're at 800 yards, you know. I mean, so. Let me, how, last last question. Talk, how much do you talk to Braxton these days? A lot. Is he? I'm sure you know you guys miss him. It's cause right, right. Teammate. Does he miss you guys? Like, how's he doing with? We just saw him, you know, walking around, walking out to practice. Right. How's he holding up? Not being. He's doing. I mean, he's doing good. Uh, you know, it's obviously tough, you know, going through the injury with that and. Uh, but you know he does. He, you know he's in here a lot. Uh, you always kind of see him around the Woody. Uh, you know he's doing his rehab and stuff. And uh, you know I know it's hard. I mean I remember you know being injured and stuff. And you know it's hard being out of practice with your boys and you know just really not knowing you can't do anything. So uh, you know I know it eats at him a lot, little bit when he's out there and you know knowing he's not going to be there on Saturday and knowing he can't practice. But uh, he's he's handling it well and uh, you know he's got his kid to keep him busy. So. Uh, <laughs> You know, you know, he's a dad, so he's got he's got other stuff going on too that, you know, I think will kind of counteract the injury and uh, you know keep a smile on his face. So. Are you gonna wear the five all year? I yeah. Mean, you dedicated that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, it's a big it's a big um, thing for you to do, but the flip side of it is you leave eighty six behind. I mean, hi, is right. there a little bit of. Maybe yeah, well, I mean, it, you know? it wasn't my idea. Braxton brought it up to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And, uh, Did he really? Yeah, he was, he was like, you should wear five this year. I'm like, ah, oh, come on, bro. <laughs> He's like, nah, seriously. I'm like, all right. And uh, so we, we ran it by Coach Meyer, and Coach Meyer thought it was a good idea. So uh, so we went with it. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's cool being able to wear his number out there. And, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously I wish, you know, he was out there wearing number five. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's cool wearing it. I'll wear it the rest of the year. And, uh yeah, I mean, but in 20 years, when weird? they retire your jersey, what what number will it be? <laughs> five slash 86. Is it weird seeing yourself on film in five? I mean, because it's some guys say I look like a Madden player, like they like you know create Madden right. players yeah, yeah. and they're like huge, and then they wear the single digit sure, yeah. or something. <laughs> so, so, yeah, literally, seriously, I'll be like, look, you wear it now because I wore yours. <laughs> but, is it, is it, are you actually wearing his jerseys, or did they put a five on your jersey? No, no, it's 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 my. I, I mean, we don't we're exactly. we're not the same body type. <laughs> no, no. No, no, it's my jersey, just with with five on it.